Nice. All right, all right. Hey, guys, it's Seth with T-Mobile. Can you believe today is Throwback Thursday? I think that's very important for what we're unboxing today. Now, just a couple of hours ago, 2 o'clock Eastern time, Motorola announced that the Razer, Razer Plus, is back, and it's coming to T-Mobile. And best of all, it's coming to T-Mobile in Viva Magenta. Today, we're going to unbox both the black and the Viva Magenta unit. We're going to talk about some of the key specifications, some cool features. I've been using it maybe for a little time now, and I have to tell you, it is tons of fun. Uh, since it's Throwback Thursday, I even brought in one of the original razors. Yes, you can see. Nelly, you want to get up and close? Nice. So there's the original razor. We'll do a little comparison, talk about, you know, what it was to what it is today and how they've improved and made this thing ultra lightweight, ultra pocketable, very comfortable, great camera, great screen. And should we, uh, should we see, we got, we got people in the, I see people starting to come in. Yeah. So, so Nelson here, I'm going to do what I love to do. I'm going to grab the camera and Nelson is on the camera today. Perfect. And so he's going to be reading your comments. I'm mic'd up. So you won't be able to hear him. You might not be able to hear the guys as well. Say, what's up, team? Woo! It is, it is hopping here in Times Square. If you haven't been to our Times Square store, next time you're in New York and you come down to Times Square, they've got giant transformers next door. They've got pretty much everything in the world you would want to see here. And of course, the great team at T-Mobile Times Square, one of our signature stores, my favorite place to unbox. I'll just say it right there. I'm going to get all kinds of crap for that now. Should we, uh, should we get into it? All right, so I'll recap. Hey, guys, Desmond T-Mobile, and this is the Throwback Thursday Razor Plus unboxing live T-Mobile YouTube channel. Let's go. All right, so come in nice and close. We'll move our uh, retro razor out of the way and just start right off. Let's just go right into Viva Magenta. Now, did you notice all the chalk on the box? These are the same razors we use in our Flip the Script Flying Trapeze unboxing, which we filmed down at the Santa Monica Pier at uh, Trapeze School down there. And tons of fun. That video is live on T-Mobile's YouTube page. Go check it out. I've cheated a little bit. Obviously, it's already powered up. First thing you get in the box is the brand new Razer Plus. Now, on the outside, this is a 3.6-inch screen. I can, If I close it, I'll show you. So there we go. 3.6 inch screen, you can, yeah. So Viva Magenta is the way to go, right? Let me go ahead and put in my code. That's okay. This is a test phone. So look at how beautiful that exterior screen is. That's 144 Hertz P OLED screen, 3.6. You can see it's pretty much edge to edge on the front. You've got probably the drivers for the screen right there. And then of course a little clearance for the hinge, but it's got that beautiful hinge design look at that and then when you open up can you show how flat that is right there look at that beautiful beautiful now that's a 6.9 inch 165 hertz screen and i have to go back and check my specs but i'm pretty sure that's the highest refresh rate on a foldable to date right now uh, also a poled screen and beautiful beautiful here we'll crank it up nice this is on saturate saturated mode so you can see all the beautiful just colors pop on there. Everything is lightning fast. That is a gorgeous device. Beautiful. Valerie says that screen is huge. Guys. It is. So 6.9 inches. It's, you know, a lot of people ask, how does that feel in hand? Like, so let's have a little fun. Let's do the, the throwback moment, right? Yeah, so go. there is the brand new Razer Plus and one of the original Razors. The V, one of the V3s, right? Can't go wrong with that. Right. And so you can see uh, in hand feel. Go ahead and unlock it again. There you go. You can kind of close it one-handed. I know a lot of people always ask about that, but it's really two-handed operation. And that's a good question came in. Is the phone slippery or does it have a good grip? No. So actually, that's a, that's a good call. So on the Viva Magenta model, this is a vegan leather finish. And in our unboxing video on the trapeze, we actually use, we'll get to cameras in a minute, but we use macro mode to show that finish off. So if it's not translating real well here in the live stream, they can certainly go and check that out. But it's got a nice textured finish. It's almost, I wouldn't say sticky, but it's it's got a little bit to it. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's it's very comfortable. When we go to the black one here, we'll go ahead and open that guy up too. So we'll put Viva Magenta there. 
and then we'll do the black one here. So there's the black, and it's a little bit more of a polished, kind of almost a sandstone glass type finish. And that one is a tiny bit more slippery, but all in all, really comfortable in the hand. Very lightweight, very pocketable. And so we talked about those screens. So I started to hint at the camera. So cameras, now the cool thing about a flip style phone, right, is your, I should have made the screen time out longer. The, um, the cameras on the outside can also become your selfie camera, right? So there, and by the way, for you guys watching on the stream, you see we're actually filming with another Razer Plus. So live streaming through our app and then right there, there it is. And of course, with this screen, you can see you can change interactions. You can change it to video. You can put it in photo booth mode. And then if I use my hand, let's see, I can't remember if I turned it on on this one. There we go. Here it comes. Now we're gonna get a bunch of photo booths ready. Here comes the first one. Here comes another one. And another one, me. And then we'll get everybody out behind us that thinks they're not in the video right now. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. So now, same interaction with the screen closed. You can go right in. And you can go through. Nice. Look at that one. I think we'll post that one online. I'll, I'll put that one on. There you go. Love it. So 12 megapixel main camera. And then a 13 megapixel ultra wide camera that also serves as a macro camera. Now that's a 108 degree field of view for the ultra wide lens, but the macro, and again, you just got to show it or here. Why don't we try it real quick? I do have a question about yes, sir. headphone jack. Does it include a headphone jack? No headphone jack. So we're, we're throwback, but we're not quite that throwback. This is kind of a modern evolved version of the Razer. So let's see. One other question came in. Um, mm -hmm. Does it include a charger in the box? Uh, there is uh, a USB-C charging cable, wall adapter sold separately. That's kind of the modern take on, on all smartphones today. So as you can see, we'll get to the rest of the inbox contents. But when we go into macro mode, it's actually using that ultra wide camera to go in and capture that shot. How's that one? Getting a little glare here. I'll, I took the photo. Now I'll tilt it up. And we'll see if we can see it a little better. So there you go. Look at that detail. So that's the macro mode. And it actually works really well. And then I'll flip it around since we're talking about cameras again. So now this is a 32 megapixel front facing internal camera. So selfie camera or, you know, for when you want to put it on your desk and use it for video chats or when you want to do... You know, theoretically, I could try to do this without you. I don't think it'd be, the, the camera work wouldn't be nearly as good, but you can see it does work. And here we are, we're waving, hi. So that's, oh, and then, uh, so the hand started it. So do a little hand, watch this. You wave, and then, oh, now, of course, it won't do it on demand. It's a live stream. It always happens that, it always happens that way. Uh, but what we, what we jumped into here is FlexView. And so this is, you know, device splitting the display into two pieces, so to speak, or two parts, right? Your main uh, interface for what you're seeing and then all of your controls down below. Somebody wanted to know how flat does it lay? How flat? Let's let's do it. We played with this earlier, right? And we'll go ahead and put it on the home screen. So I think the key is, does it have any wiggle? I'm going to say not too much wiggle, just to show... There's your camera clearances right there. Oh, good shot. Nice. Very nice. So not too much of a lift on the camera at all. Really fantastic. Lays nice and flat. And then, of course, now you can get that and you can see nice and smooth. Look at that. And that's that, that's that teardrop hinge design. So it's slightly evolved over other devices that you might have experienced that are foldable screens as well. So, yeah. Now. We talked about screen, we talked about camera, we better talk about battery and internals, and then we'll get to pricing and availability because I know that's what people want to know. So it's a 3,800 milliamp hour battery, USB-C charging, USB-C charging cable comes in the box, wall adapter sold separately or travel adapter depending on what you call. Um, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, runs Android 13, 
Uh, specs to round out the specs, we're on a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. So a nice flagship level processor. In the past, there have been some processors that might have been a step down. Uh, in this particular case, no, we're running with the flagship processor that you see in other devices today, which have great uh, you know, performance, great heat management, things like that. I've, like I said, I've been using it for a few weeks now. Uh, no problems with heat or anything like that. And then, of course, let me flip over my notes because I want to get the, the offer correct. So, uh, 615, so 615, pre order starts. And on 623 is launch where you can come into a store just like this and pick up the device yourself. Um, $999. It's a fantastic price, it's right in line with comparable devices. Um, the offers, and again, this is a live stream. Go to tmobile.com for all the specific information, but it's Go 5G Plus. If you're on Go 5G Plus, you'll get this on us with an add line. If you're on Go 5G or Magenta, you'll get a half off offer with a trade in. So, Nelly, you, you see people come in all day long. How's that sound offer wise? Pretty solid, fan, fantastic offer. Nice. Um, and then what else can I tell you? It comes in the two colors, comes in black and Viva Magenta. Viva Magenta is a limited time exclusive to T-Mobile. So if you love that magenta finish, we should just hop right back over to that guy. That is what you're looking for. Now, I always do this, Nelly, and you almost let me do it again. I always forget to finish out the unboxing. So let's go inside the box, underneath the tray. This is where you'd have your USB-C charging cable, your documentation, and please note, this is a plastic-free, recyclable, soy ink-created box. So, good on the environment. It's only got a couple little small things in there. No problem. That's what's in the box. There you go. The Moto Razor Plus in black and Viva Magenta. Questions. Two questions. Yes, sir. What are the questions? Does it have a home button on the home screen? Does it have a home button on the home screen? Well... So you can configure that. Let me show you. So on Android devices, you have two options. You have gesture navigation. As you can see, I am using ah, gesture navigation on this device. You can go into your settings and under navigation. Uh, system navigation. You can actually choose between gesture navigation or three button navigation and you can see right there boom home multiple apps and a back button so that's user preference and that you should be able to do that on all modern android phones today i prefer gesture navigation myself so when i go in and play with them gesture gets turned on and there we go Perfect. boom Any more questions yes eight plus gen one or gen two eight plus gen one all right and then expandable storage uh expandable storage i think no let me confirm i got a couple of moto folks Expandable storage? I don't think so. It's too. We're, 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 phoning a, we're phoning a friend. I, water resistant rating. Oh, I oh, it is IP like fifty eight. So this is like a splashy kind of thing. No underwater. That's what we didn't do an underwater unboxing. We did a high above the high and five G trapeze unboxing for that one. Uh, we're we're hearing Snapdragon. So Snapdragon to confirm, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, and then expandable memory. No expand. That's what I thought. The, the SIM tray was really small. I couldn't remember. I didn't, never flipped it over. So no expandable memory. So 8 gigs of RAM, 256 of onboard storage. Uh, and then IP, I think we said 58. And I can certainly double check. Uh, leave a note in the comments, and I will get in there and respond to you myself. What else we got, Nelly? Any other questions? Pardon? What, is, what is the estimated screen time with the uh, So I'm using it as my primary device with Outlook email, with Slack, messages, camera work, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm seeing a little more than a day, uh, and I'm a pretty heavy user. I can go to, I mean, that would be like a, your home, 8.30, 9 o'clock. You throw it on the kitchen counter or on the, the nightstand, and that's, that's I'd say, pretty solid. Um, it's 3,800 milliamps. We talked about that before. It does have turbo power char fast charging, which is uh, off the top of my head. I think it's 18 watts is the default. I can double check on that. I know here we're both like turbo power. They call it something different, but uh, 18 watts is is usually fast charging for for the Motorola guys. Anything else? Um, one more question. Sure. Uh, 
A glare in direct sunlight. A glare in direct sunlight. I would say it's okay. Um, I've been shooting shots with it. It definitely, it's if you can punch in real quick, it does have a pre-installed screen saver that, or screen protector that you shouldn't take off. You can kind of see it right around the front facing camera. You can see the edge there. It's pretty reflective. It does get some fingerprints on it. This guy should stay on. It comes that way from the factory. There's even a warning wrapper around the phone. Um, and that, you know, plastic, the, the coating, of course, does reflect a little bit more. I haven't had a hard time. It's, it's a pretty bright screen. It's not the brightest I've seen, but it's, it's very vibrant. The colors are really saturated, so screen looks great. We for, I for, I for, pardon? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, one thing we didn't mention, uh, Dolby, Dolby Atmos, as well as dual speakers. So this guy sounds really great. You play a YouTube video, you can, of course, we were playing with it, push it right out to the edges of the screen. You get great sound coming out of this device. And for being so small and thin, right? Super impressive performance. Awesome. Well, I think it's time to, I think it's, wait, I think it's time. Now let's go back. The Moto 360 watch. It's probably time to wrap up. Nelly, anything else? Or should we uh, take a selfie and call it a day? You take a selfie and All right. the live stream. All right. Bye, guys. It's been Dez and Nelson and the rest of the Team Mobile Time Square team. <laughs> live unboxing the new Moto Razor Plus Viva Magenta, exclusive to T-Mobile, limited time, as well as the black option if you like that better. And we are out of here. Sweet.